There are a ton of fireplaces here at Mapperton. In fact, I, I, I think there's around 18, but then sometimes I forget. This is one of them, so another fireplace there. I think we're at two. So this is a fireplace. There's a fireplace right there. So it makes it very easy. You just light the match, put it to the paper. It's got kindling. So that is six, and there it goes. You're gonna hear a lot of clocks now. So that is, am I on six, Stephen? Six, okay. Six, phew, okay. Was that seven? So we do definitely use that. So that's number eight. We've got eight. This is number nine. 10. Yep, not working. I mean, it could work easily, could totally work. Number 11, Tudor Room. I'm gonna say that was 12. So 13, again, it doesn't look like it's working. It could work though. That is number 14. And again, we don't use that fireplace. Jack's just left to go back up to Edinburgh. So, oh good, he made his bed. Look at how cute this one is. 15. Oh, I thought that there were more. Am I missing? 15. And I know that Beryl has at least two, if not three, fireplaces. So, and that is why we need all of the wood. The American has come here. She's always cold, so she needs to have fire on all the time. There are a ton of fireplaces here at Mapperton. In fact, I, I, I think there's around 18, but then sometimes I forget. This is one of them. So this is in really kind of like the family sitting room. So this is our family sitting room area. We use this room a lot. And in fact, we use this fireplace a lot. So you can see these are real fires and that's why we have to do so much chopping of wood. So we're gonna head over into here. I'm gonna show you all of the different fireplaces. Now, some of them are in use and some of them aren't. Obviously that one's in use. And right through here, the kitchen, you've seen this many, many times, where the aga is, that is actually where the original like big hearth was. So that was originally a, a fire where all cooking would happen before obviously we invented things like stoves and ovens. So that is in, in essence, uh, a, another fireplace. So another fireplace there, I think we're at two. Okay, coming on through here. There's definitely not one in there. There's definitely not one in down there, but I know there's one in here. So this is the dining room. We're doing a lot of archiving right now. So there's a lot of archiving ha um, happening here and there's some works happening as well. So this is a fireplace. We don't use it, thus the plant. Now we could use it, but we'd have to give the chimney sweep in, uh, which uh, we do still have. Uh, chimney sweepers coming in to sweep the chimney once a year to make sure to clear them out. Um, that will be an update for sure. Then on the other side, so we're gonna head, so this is the dining room. On the other side in the secret passageway doorway is the muniment room. So in here is the muniment room. And again, this is a muniment room is where a lot of um, old uh, sort of historic houses is where they are keep a lot of their archives. And there was, let's see if you can still see remnants. So there's now a heater there. So, but there was, I'm pretty sure, yes, there was, there was a fireplace there, but ha ha, <laughs> there's a fireplace right there. So um, I'm not sure if they moved it or what, but that is a fireplace. And again, we don't use this fireplace. It has some fake, I don't even know, I guess, um, heating device, which probably doesn't even work anywhere. But again, this is the muniment room. One day, uh, this is a, a project of mine that I would like to get it a little bit more. Anyway, it's, an, it's just another project, but okay, oh gosh. Okay, so that was one, two, three, two, we'll say four, because the one that now has the heater doesn't really count, so four four fireplaces, because a lot of times the fireplaces, in a sense, backed onto each other. So dining room, so we're at four fireplaces. Coming in through here, you'll recognize this for sure. This is one that we use quite a bit here in the hall, and it's already laid and ready to go. So it makes it very easy, you just 
light the match, put it to the paper. It's got kindling. And I, I mean, yes, I've definitely learned how to light a fire since being here. So uh, when I first came here and somebody would ask me to light a fire, <laughs> it never lit because it was so badly done. But there's like a way to light a fire. You have to put the paper, then you have to have the kindling and you tent it like it's like a tent. And then, you t and then the logs come outside the kindling like a tent almost so that there's air for it to start to... Uh, to flame. Then moving into the drawing room. So that's five. Here is one in the drawing room. Let's see, Stephen, we can head over here. So here's one in the drawing room. Again, ready to go. Laid a little bit differently because it's got, looks like it's got the grate right here, but we use this one. We do use it, not near as often as the one in the family sitting room and the hall here, but we use this one as well. So that is six, and there it goes, you're gonna hear a lot of clocks now. So that was, am I on six, Stephen? Mm -hmm. Six, okay, six, few, okay. So drawing room, heading through here, six. I don't think there's any fireplaces in there. I will show you. So you're probably thinking, well, where do you keep all the logs? You just have to keep going out. Okay, and the answer is, it's a door. Clearly I have issues with door. So Stephen, can you get in there and you can see where we store all of our firewood? So we don't, so of course we do go out, but we bring in baskets, baskets at a time, load them there, and then they're able to go into, oh my goodness. Okay, what? <laughs> okay. I really do need to close this. One second. Okay. okay. What is, oh wait, okay, all right. <sighs> I mean, you wouldn't even think I'd have a problem with that door, it's so small, but I do. All right, so that was, was that seven? So coming into now the library, very similar uh, in a sense, it's a stove oven, so, um, is that what you call it? Do you call them stove ovens? Yeah. yeah. So here we do use this. You can see firewood on either side. So we do definitely use that. So that's number eight. So we've got eight. And I mean, can you imagine having to carry the firewood all around to these different rooms and have to open up that door all the time? <laughs> so heading up the staircase hall. So that's eight. I have to see, that's why you, it's hard to keep track of them because I'm like, what number am I on? Look at this. Is that real? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't, that's why I had to check, because it's, anybody know what this is? If you know, put in the comments down below. I should know, I don't. Okay, so that was eight. So now we're coming into the West Room. The West Room you'll recognize, because that's where we have the tapestries, another project which we'd like to get done. So this is number nine. And anytime you see firewood in any of these, it means that it's working. So this one is a working fireplace as well. Again, we don't really use it because we don't really use this room, to be perfectly honest, because that a, well, this is where you can see, again, repairs need to be done, tapestries, and of course, um, I mean, look at this, the fabric here all needs to eventually be redone. I'm just going to move that just a little bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was number nine? Nine, right? Nine, that's a lot already. I, um, nine. Now, I do know that up above there are... A couple bedrooms up here, but I'm 100% certain, uh, not really, but no, I'm pretty certain that there's no fireplace up there. So nine. And then in here, again, a non-working one, 10. So there's 10 here. So remember, this is the great chamber and this w really was never supposed to be a bedroom. So this is where the Lord of the house would sort of come and have his, it was his room. He would have his sort of private time, um, almost like his reception room. So that's 
nine, then I think there's one in the bathroom, which I suspect wasn't always a bathroom. It's probably more of like a dressing room. Yep. 10. So here's number 10. And again, this wouldn't have been a bathroom. Obviously we've made it into a bathroom. It would have been a smaller room, dressing room probably. It's a 10, it's a nice dressing room. 10, let's go out this secret doorway. Come on. 10, now that's the Thunderbox Lou. Wouldn't that have been nice though if the, in the Thunderbox Lou you could like have a fire at the same time? <laughs> 10, um, that was 10. Okay, in the Tudor room. Yep, not working. I mean, it could work easily, could totally work. Number 11, Tudor room. By the way, this is one of the rooms that obviously you can come and stay in uh, if you come to a yoga retreat. What number did I say that was again? 11? 11. Was it 11 or 12? I think it was 11. Le 11. I'm asking Claire and Stephen. They usually, it's 11, I'm sure. Or was it 12, Stephen? Maybe that was, it's 12. I think we mentioned nine twice. Okay, if anybody knows, you let me know. Um, I'm gonna say that was 12 for some reason. Nine, 10, I think it's 12, because I think the one in the Western was nine. Yeah. Yeah, okay, 12, so this is 13. So 13, again, it doesn't look like it's working. It could work though, so it definitely could work. This is the chapel room, 13. I'm just gonna check in here to see if there is a fireplace. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even locked. Mm, no, sometimes I just like looking. I mean, unless there's one, there's a heater there, but that wouldn't have been a fireplace. No, no. Okay, so 13. By the way, this is where, before the pandemic, we had plans to make this into an ensuite bathroom. And then that, that didn't happen. So, um, but fingers crossed it can happen in future. So 13, 13, 13. Okay, let's go through here. 13. Can you get that shot, Stephen? That is number 14. And again, we don't use that fireplace, but we could, we could. So 14, come through here. Just checking, 14, okay. Um, all the way up, might get wind of a couple kids here. 14, we'll see if they let us into their bedroom. 14, no one's in this one. Jack's just left to go back up to Edinburgh, so we were going through some stuff. So I know 14, oh good, he made his bed. Look at how cute this one is. 15, little, could work. I think it could still definitely work. Um, 15, anything else? No, 15. Hold on, I'm not sure if Nestor's room has one. Nest, we're not gonna look in here, it's a mess. Do you have a fireplace in here? No, no, for sure? Okay, so there's not one in here. What number was I on? He's happy, his room is a mess. 15. 15. <laughs> 15. Okay. There might not be one. No, no, we, there's not one in here. We don't have to go in here. This is Nestor's other room. This is where he works, where he does homeschooling. And I think William's in here. He's not going to let us in here. Hold on. I, I'm pretty sure there is. Stephen, I'll let you know. We're definitely not going in here. Is, do you have a fireplace in here? No, I have a fireplace in here. Um, okay. Yeah, sometimes they just, mm -hmm. okay, it's just looking. 15, right. So we've got 15. <laughs> My kids are like, do not show our bedrooms. So was that fi 15? Oh, I thought that there were more. Am I missing? 15, 15. Yeah, okay, I guess there's 15. I always thought that there were, um, Maybe, maybe there are some in Jemima's room. No, 
There's not, look at me, I'm just talking to the camera, to myself. Okay, so 15 fireplaces. Now, technically there is more. So, and I'm gonna tell you why. But we're not gonna go and see. So there are, I think, that's why my number was around 17, 18. But through here is where Beryl lives. So there's another flat in the house. So Beryl, you guys, I'm sure have seen before, met before, and Beryl is our housekeeper and she is in charge of the house, um, especially when we're not here. We need somebody to obviously be here at all times looking over and looking after the house um, because of it is of uh, great historical value. So so we in within the house, we created a flat and I know that Beryl has at least two, if not three fireplaces. So... Then, but there are other places. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, so I think 15, I probably am missing. And then with barrels, you've got two to three, that's 17 to 18. And then there's also sort of out buildings that are still connected to the house, if that makes sense. So in the courtyard, there might be a couple more, but I don't know if they're used. I'm just trying to think of the one and there's probably one in the estate office. Anyway, yeah, but in the main house that we live in, we've got 15 in total, and that is why we need all of the wood that you see um, in order to keep us warm, because even though we do have a biomass boiler now, which again, you've seen the biomass boiler and how it works, it doesn't always work. <laughs> so, and also, the American has come here, and she's always cold, so she needs to have fire on all the time. And yes, there's work going on as well. For those of you who've seen the cellar, we're renovating the cellar right now. Um, and so hopefully, uh, and that is not quite done yet, but should be done very, very soon. So that's it. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna head into the warmest part of the house. This is, the kitchen is the warmest room in the house due to the wonderful Aga and that is where I'm gonna go. So, bye everybody, thank you so much. Um, hope you enjoyed this tour of the fireplaces at Mapperton. Again, we're not quite sure of the exact number. We know for sure there's 15, couple more over that way, and maybe a couple more. So, I mean, I think my estimate of around 18 was pretty darn close. All right, bye everybody, and again, thank you guys so much for your patronage, and every single one of you for all of your support and those of you in the top tier. So Robert, Sean, Cheryl, Sherry, and Angeline, thank you all so much. And I'll see you guys next time around. Bye.